Okay, this is Monday, week 11, for five of these. Um, math, um, looking at the first problem, it says 3,240 minus 578. I know I can't um, take eight away from zero, so I need to borrow from my neighbor. 10 minus eight is two. I know it's a make a tens fact. Three minus seven I can't do, so I'm gonna borrow again from my neighbor. neighbor. 13 minus seven is six. Same deal. All right, this turns into an 11. 11 minus five is six. And two minus nothing is two. My final answer is 2,662. And I'm gonna go ahead and add to check to make sure my answer is right by adding the two numbers back together and hoping I get this as my answer. Two plus eight is 10, carry my one. Six plus one is seven. Plus seven is 14, carry my one. Six plus five is six, plus six more is 12. Carry my one and one plus two is three. So here I have 3,240 is the same as 3,240, perfect. All right, A says which product or products are equal to three, thir 36,000. So I'm gonna solve each of these because it says answers. And I know there could be more than one good answer choice. Um, because these zeros are on here, I'm just gonna ignore them and do 12 times three, which gives me 36 and two zeros, one, two. Ooh, I'm one zero short, so I know A is not a good answer choice. Same thing, I'm gonna ignore my zeros and just multiply six times six, which is 36, and I see one, two, three zeros, which does give me 36,000. So B is one of the answer choices, but I'm not done. Nine times four, again, is 36. And I see three zeros, one, two, three. So this is a good answer choice. C is also a good answer choice. Now I have 18 times two. I'm ignoring those zeros. I'm not sure what that is, so I'm gonna pull over and multiply. 18 times two, eight times two is six. Carry my one, two times one is two, plus one more is three. So 36, and I see one, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. Mm, also a good answer choice. So there are three good answer choices. All right, moving on. C, uh, number three says, um, which number when rounded to the nearest hundred equals 75,900? So I can tell based on this that they're rounding to the nearest hundreds place because everything after the hundreds turns to zeros. So I'm looking at all my answer choices rounding to the nearest hundred. Underline, circle, this gets put in a box, not gonna change. And five is strong, so I'm gonna write plus one. Ooh, this is one of those situations where this will change because nine plus one is 10. So then my one carries up here and it turns into 76,000 which is not a good answer choice because we want it to be 75,900. Okay, moving forward, underline, circle. Eight is strong, so I'm writing plus one. 75 gets boxed. Eight plus one is nine. To the right, to the right, everything turns to a zero in the right. B is a good answer choice. Moving on, because they say, um, it could be more than one good answer choice. Eight, underline, circle, box. Four is weak, so I'm gonna write plus zero. 75 stays, eight gets to stay. To the right to the right, everything turns to a zero in the right, not a good answer choice. Underline, circle, nine is strong, so I'm gonna write plus one. 75 gets to stay the same. Four turns into a five, zero, zero. Mm, still not a good answer choice. B is my only good answer choice. And my last question says, Mia does 25 sit-ups three times each day. What is the total number of sit-ups Mia does in a week, which they say is seven days? Mm, that sounds like a two-stepper. So I have already set up 25 times three, because this is how many sit-ups she does, and she does them three times a day. 
5 times 3 is 15. Carry my 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 7 more. So 75, just like quarters. 75 sit-ups. But the question says in a week, so I need to take it a step further and multiply 75 times 7 for the number of days in a week. 5 times 7 is 35. Carry my 3. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 3 more is 52. 525 is my total that she does in one week. So 525 sit-ups. And that's it.